Not much action from the euro, even though talks between Greece and its creditors are dragging on. And here's why. This certainly has the potential to be an interesting day for the euro dollar, but currently it's very range bound uh, in a narrow range. And the reason, of course, is that we don't have any news out at the moment. Um, the leaders of both the EU and Greece are locked in talks, and um, I'm not even sure that we will see an agreement today. I think, as has been the case on previous occasions when Greece has received a new bailout, we're going down to the 11th hour, but my base case still is that we will see an agreement like we've seen before. A deal on a new bailout for Greece would be good news for the euro, but could no deal be even better news? Well, so far, whenever there's been good news, and good news uh, in this case being uh, pro-bailout news, and then we've seen euro dollar rally. Uh, so um, any lack of agreement, of course, could see some downside in the short term for euro dollar. However, I think uh, if we actually don't see an agreement with with Greece, then in the longer term there is a potential for a significant strengthening of euro dollar because that would leave the rest of the euro area, which is doing quite well on its own and could also perhaps uh, push the ECB towards ending its QE program, perhaps even prematurely or at least signaling that there isn't as much need uh, without Greece in the euro area. So um, that could be an interesting opposite case to what we're seeing at the moment. So just how well is the euro area doing? According to Mass, the numbers speak for themselves. Not only did we see quite a, a solid uptick in growth in the, in the first quarter with GDP up 0.4%, but uh, the surveys for the second quarter so far has been strong as well. And we just got uh, consumer confidence from the largest country in the euro area, Germany, where we did see a slight tick down in consumer confidence, but it remains at a very high level. Uh, going back throughout the records, it's still close to a record high. And the underlying components of the report also point to sustained consumption growth in Germany, so that will support overall growth in the euro area's largest economy. So the euro area economy on its own is doing quite well. It's currently uh, the political mess that's dominating the headlines.